Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha HaKurash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect. And now, real briefly, I wanted to speak on this video. Uh, me and a lot of brothers have been speaking about this of late. And uh, if you've been paying attention, brothers have been loading videos on uh, Karen, man, which is uh, Edomite women, man, losing their goddamn minds, man, and showing their true colors, man. All right. And there's a spiritual reasoning why this is all happening, man. And it all goes back to the birthright. OK, these people have hated you. OK, we've been at war with these people since the womb. And that story. All right. Uh, uh, reigns supreme and is very prevalent or prevalent to this day, man, because a lot of our people see these outbreaks by Karen and the uh, Edomite men. OK, just going on rants and showing you that they truly hate you. And a lot of you don't understand why a lot of you attribute it to just black. It's because we're black. Well, it goes deeper than that, man. And there's no such thing as a black person or a brown person or Native American or any of these things that you all continuously uphold. These are names given unto you by your oppressor to hide your true identity. And he put the term white on himself, okay, to hide their true identities. But now in the earth, something is happening. And the truth is driving these people crazy, man. The vibration of the word is absolutely consuming Esau, Edom, man. And they're doing exactly what they did at the time of Cain, all right, when, when, when they were called out for their wickedness. What did Cain say? My punishment is too much to bear. Okay, Esau, Edom, when he gave up his birthright, what did he cry to Isaac? Is not his uh, name rightly uh, Jacob? He stole my birthright. He did this. He, 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 he you know, because you were supplanted. And that's how the Heavenly Father had you know, uh, the blessing to play out in the story. But ultimately, the blessing was given and promised unto Jacob from the foundation of the earth, man. And you Edomites have been bitter, all right, even from the womb. But until this day, you're bitter, all right, because you understand what we possess. Even when you don't truly, fully understand it as Edomites, you know in your spirit that, that you are anti us and we're anti you. You know okay that, that that there's a difference something's happening in the planet earth when you see us you know our people even in their ignorance rising talking about you know uh, white supremacy and speaking on particular things um you in your in your spirit you know something's going on and karen as the uh elder manata zakba did this video karen is bugging out and losing laughing my ass off this is gms south carolina 05 make sure you subscribe to the elders page and be edified if you haven't already but uh karen which is a name <laughs> that has been given to these uh edomite women that have been on uh, absolute terror of late she's losing it man she's bugged out of her mind screaming you know uh, uh her supremacy is tainted white supremacy has been tainted okay and these average everyday edomites who fought for this whole white supremacy structure are now starting to see that it doesn't even benefit them. And then the icing on the cake is that Jake is now starting to rise up, man. Okay, the, the, the doctrine that we have uh, pushed out, all right, uh, on, on the YouTube, all right, it's been being pushed out, you know, even before that, going back 30, 40 years, but um, on the YouTube since 2007, this doctrine has reached the ears and the spirit and the vibration of it has has totally consumed the earth. Prophecy is now consuming the earth, man. Swallowing everything up, man. Lies are being uh, destroyed. Christianity is being destroyed. And Edomite supremacy is tainted. It's tainted at a high level, man. And the Heavenly Father has it out for you people and you know it. But Karen, these, these uh, uh, so-called white women who are just popping up all over the planet Earth and people just record them and let them go crazy, man. And they're losing it, man. They're screaming. You know, they're, they're, they're talking shit, calling people niggers and, you know, uh, screaming at you so-called Latin tribes uh, who you want to be. So they're screaming at you, telling you to go back and speak English and all sorts of things, man. Um, they're losing it, man. They're ugly. You know, when you look at these Karens, too, man, one thing you notice is that they look horrible, man. 
they all have this particular look to themselves, man, and 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 some worse than other, man. But uh, we're gonna I'm gonna play a clip of this video, then we're gonna get a few scriptures because these Edomites are livid. They are losing it, man. And you and and, and when you look in the news, you see more and more of you so-called Negroes being hung from trees. This is a response to everything that's happening in the earth, man, because who are the police? They are the KKK. The police is rooted in the Ku Klux Klan, man. Okay, even our people who work for the police, they have that uh, uh, ideology instilled in them that you are a savage beast and kill you. But there's gonna be more and more hangings, man. These Edomites are responding, man. Okay, and they're tired of it. They're tired of seeing you think you're special. They're tired of seeing you call out white supremacy. They're tired of seeing you having an op opinion either way it went. They've hid for so long, man. They've hid for so long. They've hid their views and opinions year in and year out, man. And they've, they're fed up, man. And they're totally getting ready to snap, man. So let's play a little bit of Karen. And we'll get a few scriptures, man. And, and Lord willing, we can get some edification. Black Lives Matter in this big lecture about how every one of us should be supportive of the Black Lives Matter. Well, guess what? I'm not. I don't support Black Lives Matter. I don't. See, I'm a white woman, and I'm proud to be a white woman, okay? And I'm not going to ask for forgiveness for something that my ancestors did that I didn't. I didn't own slaves. You've never been a slave. Okay, you don't need reparations from me. You don't need me to bow down and kiss your feet and ask forgiveness. You can kiss my Now this lady here is a teacher in Hawaii. And she's since tried to apologize, but she's lost her job and everything. These people, these these Karens are your te are teachers teaching your children, man. These Karens walk around the planet Earth smiling like you, you at Whole Foods. They smile at you like they're okay, but deep down inside, man, they, they they have this deep rooted hatred, man, that can only be explained by the Holy Scriptures. This is ancient hatred, man, and they are livid. They are ready to kill. And you got to think, these. The only reason you're seeing this is because now the internet is out. See, before the internet is out, these they were able to act upon these emotions and be you know just put so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to death, man, on the spot. Okay, and then make up some sort of lie because white women have a history of just crying, rape, and yelling and screaming and playing a victim and being able to 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 uh, uh, push forth to have actions. Uh, 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 taken on on men who did nothing to them, man. And now you're starting to see these Karens pop up all over the earth, man, because why? The Lord is exposing you people, man. Karen is through. Esau, Edom is an absolute finished product. All they got left is that sword and the little pseudoscience and witchcraft little bit that they got left. But even the demons in, in Baphomet ain't answering them like they used to. So pretty much all they got left is, is, is the media, the, the propaganda, and the come with the sword. Because they're finished as a people, man. And it's clear and evident when you look at them. But let's, let's listen to this teacher, this, 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 this Lily White, and she looks absolutely horrible herself, man. Look at these people. about how I'm supposed to support Black Lives Matter. Did that I didn't. I didn't own slaves. You've never been a slave. Okay, you don't need reparations from me. You don't need me to bow. And the so-called Jew, which we're not looking for your damn reparations, but it's, it's how hypocritical is it that the so-called Jew has been getting trillions of dollars, billions of dollars in aid annually, man, from America. Not just, there's other places in the world that pay tribute to those so-called Jews, but all over the world in the form of reparations for uh, the Holocaust, right? And not once have they been told to get over it. You see? Nobody's told them to get over it, man. But the talks of you so-called Negroes getting reparations, man, the, and this is also a, a part of why they're losing it. 
and we know goddamn well they're not going to give you niggas no reparations, but the, the talk of it got these Edomites living. Now, if they do it, just imagine the civil war and the up, uprising that, it, that, that, that it's going to bring. And this is just the tension the elite need, man. They need racial tension. They got class tension. The middle class has been absolutely wiped out, which has caused a lot of these average everyday Edomites to lose. They're losing, man. You see, Jake is kind of floating by in this uh, whole coronavirus, you know, this whole shutdown thing. But the, a lot of these Edomites are losing it, man. Okay, broke, hurt, pissed off. And then to see you rise up, man, that's a slap in their face and they're then they're good old precious America. So they're 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 pissed, man. Go down and kiss your feet and ask forgiveness. You can kiss my A lot of this is a response to the Israelites, man. Because they're watching on the internet. See this quarantine has allowed people to have a chance to just sit sit their asses down. And actually, look, man, and, and, and as you can see, a lot of Jake, these uh, actors and entertainers are, are watching the videos, which they've been watching them. But now that things ain't popping, man, the things are starting to set in, man. And these Edomites, man, are losing it, man. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! No, you're driving off! Park your car. No! Like, what the hell? You better get the fuck away from me. Fuck you! Yeah, we're far. Yeah, this is a whole movie over here now. Can you please move? Everyone better stop fucking yelling at me right now. It's on that fucking movie. Can you please move your car? Thank you. you. Same thing to a fucking car. Mm -hmm. Park over here. Okay? I don't listen to you either. Chill. Listen, you short fucking piece of shit. Okay? Grow some fucking balls, baby. Grow some fucking balls. No, I'm not moving. Listen, listen to me. You can talk all the fuck you want, all you fucking Hawaiians. The white lady's fucking crazy. You can talk all the fuck that you want, you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> and so last night, man. I was just uh, sitting, looking at the Karen compilations, and I'm like, man, it, it, there's so many of them, man. Just go to just go to the, the YouTube search and type in Karen compilation, and you'll see that these people are absolutely losing it, man. This is the book of Nahum, chapter three and five. It says, "Behold, I am against thee, saith Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and your way has been discovered in front of the whole world. The whole world." is now looking at you, okay, uh, 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 with, 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 with the side eye, man. Your policies are being called out. Your pedophilia is being called out. Your true nature is being showed all via the Internet. The Internet, that's why one of the Rockefeller said, man, we should have never created the Internet, man, because here it is. You thought you were going to use the Internet to work your witchcraft, but the Heavenly Father has given us uh, uh, this word, man. As well as other people who are set up, even of, of your own nation, uh, to expose particular things about you. So you've been out it, man. The Lord is against you. That's why you're acting this way, because the Lord is against you, man. Okay, I'm against thee, saith Yahweh. I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness in the kingdoms thy shame. And that's what's happening to the, especially the, the American Edomite. See, even when you go over to Europe, they look down on the American Edomite. This is the worst of the worst, man. Okay? See, you had it in your mind to show Jake put us all on the internet and TV in a negative light and paint this image of who we are using pseudoscience, you know, the, the, the whole savage beast ordeal. But look how it's all flipped around, which is a fulfillment of Deuteronomy 30. Okay, you're, you're addicted to the opioids. OK, remember, it was drugs with us and it was just just say no. Well, now look at your people, man. Absolutely destroyed, man. And, and, and I was watching an interview where this dude, this Edomite was talking to Charles Barkley and another guy. Forget who else it was. And the dude was just like, we fear that one day we will be the minority. They can tell something is happening, which is a fulfillment of prophecy. Because when you get the book of Obadiah. 
So if Karen is acting like that, what do you think the elites are doing? As brothers have been having dreams that the, the elites are watching these videos, man. Hey, the, the king of Babylon has definitely uh, 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 watched his, his, his knees have, have waxed feeble, man. This is the book of Obadiah, verse 2. It says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, insignificant. The word there is small, which is katan. Now, it can have a, uh, you know, uh, uh, not all of, it's not always a negative uh, use to the word katan, but small can mean insignificant. And see, among the heathen, all right, thou art greatly despised. That's what's happening to these Edomites. Prophecy is the answer. And I was just looking at Karen, and, and all of them just look like brick land. Like, they're not even going to make it up out of here, man. Like, we're not going to, like, a lot of these Edomites you're seeing, they're not even going to make it to, to the point where we get off, we come off the ships, you know, and, 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 and get them out of those bunkers. These, this class of Edomite, look, man, when you type in Karen on YouTube, look at them. They all look horrible. It's like, who in the hell lay and procreated with this demon? They got the shades on because Esau Edom is used to the b -b 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 bad, you know, and being a big, bad Edomite. But nobody cares about their opinion anymore. Everybody wants them to shut the hell up. You got the Moabites calling and cursing and calling them out. And they know that they can't survive when things are on an even playing field. And to see you so-called Negroes in the rest of the tribes, but you so-called Negroes stand up for yourselves. Even with this whole Black Lives Matter, we know that it's funded by George Soros and we know that it's a setup, just as civil rights was a setup because now it was it was it was civil rights, now it turns into gay rights. It's always a trick. They always lead you to uh, 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 uh they always trick you Israelites into marching for your own downfall and the marching against the Heavenly Father. That's ultimately what it's all what it's all about. You're marching for a cause that is against the Heavenly Father in his way. So you, 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 there's no way to win that way. But even with that, to see Jake talk about their lives matter and stand up, to, for Esau to see that, it pisses them off to a leg. Because they're used to you having your head down, shucking and jiving. Okay, you, you're starting to, uh, to get back into the stones. Jake is, uh, is, you know, it's not the breath ain't fully in all of them. But Esau sees this shit, man. And he and and, and 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 the spirit that's in the earth is now turning to him being greatly despised, man. This man is absolutely being called out by the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, let's uh, get the book of Isaiah chapter thirty-two and four. It says, "The heart of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammer shall be ready to speak plainly." Right, and that's us. We were rash, but we once, you know, uh, we, we were in a Gentile state of mind. But now what? We understand knowledge. We understand the truth. So Esau, Edom, you got to understand, these people are fugitives. Karen is a fugitive. That's why she's acting like that. That's another thing. When you're a fugitive and you know someone has a testimony against you, you're automatically, it's, you're autom it's, it's only natural for you to say, okay, we got to kill this motherfucker, man. Or I hate this. I was watching one Karen, man. Like she she called the, the so-called black woman a nigger. And she, the Karen, pulled over and just went to the police station. And said, I'm fed up. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired. She didn't even know what she was tired of. She just tired of niggas. You see, Edomite supremacy was always based upon you being a low level, low life, nothing, man. And now the sentiment of you being the chosen is out there. They're like, oh, hell no. Nah. Even without them really knowing they're Edomites and really knowing you're the Israelites, they know in their spirit that they have to keep you down in order for their supremacy to stay up. So to see you come to some sort of understanding of who you are is absolutely challenging Edomite supremacy as a whole, man. And see, they're fighting against one another. They don't know what to do. They don't know. Some of them are being trying to be overly nice. Some of them are just like, fuck it. Some of them are crying. A lot of them are committing suicide. You see? And ultimately, overall, they're through. They're finished. Done, son. Okay? So the heart of the rash is understanding that knowledge because of prophecy. See, you've been supplanted 
all over again in your own kingdom, in your own blessing. The Lord has 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 through us the uh, 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 the alley oop in the form of the Holy Spirit, man. OK, he, he gave us that Holy Spirit right when you were ruling, man. He set us in order right before your eyes and you're through. Nothing you can do about it. You can't buy off the Holy Spirit because Esau Edom is used to just being white and that fixes everything. Just used to, you know, he, he he's able to use his money, his influence, who he is, his name, his reputation. Now it's stained and they're hurt and they're, and they're reacting. And see, this is all we got to do is sit back and watch these people lose their goddamn mind, man. And if you happen to see Karen and you, you, you see a Karen outburst, just avoid them, man. Laugh at them. You know? <laughs> Laugh at them, man. You know? Because they're through. It says, the vow person, so as we woke up, what would happen naturally? The vow person shall no more be called liberal. So as we wake up, you see, as we wake up, the vow person is no more being called liberal. The spirit that's out in the earth is against this foul man who's hid behind lies and pseudoscience to, pr to put himself and prop himself up as this great savior, this great messiah. And now people are like, hell no, nah. the vow person is no more being called liberal. You're not fair, you're not for life. The churl, nor the churl said to be bountiful. See, people have thought that, that, that by joining to this man and following him that you win. And people are starting to now see that joining ourselves to these people has always resulted in us losing. The pseudoscience isn't working anymore. The demons ain't, you know, the witchcraft ain't working anymore. And they're, you're really starting to see the Edomite for what he is and what she is. And their children as well. Okay? These people have done, I mean, some wickedness I'm talking about beyond measure man a lot of them are now seeking to please the poor you know now they want to you know adhere to just black lives matters everywhere you the juneteenth is now a holiday can you believe that shit juneteenth people are getting the juneteenth off paid double you know the the stores are closing in honor of black lives matter man so they're trying to lure you back to sleep and get you out of that spirit you're in man because all you got to do is give Jake, you know, acknowledgement or a few days, you know, uh, oh, we got a day and they'll calm down. But now nah, it, it's going to keep going because we're out there preaching, man. And a lot of these Jakes are going to wake up to the fact that Black Lives Matter isn't a real movement. It's something you all made up. And a lot of them are going to wake up to the fact that they're Israelites because now you got celebrities, Carmelo Anthony, Fantasia, Ice Cube. And there's more of them that know they'll come out eventually. There's even more that know. You think that if they know the, the, that they ain't talking amongst themselves and, 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 and this truth ain't just being discussed as normal conversation all over the earth amongst these Jakes, you think they're not watching as they're sitting in the house on quarantine and can't really go out like that? Even with the, uh, the opening back up, it's, it's kind of a halfway opening. Small businesses be, are going to be closed. This thing is getting ready to shut down. So the, the word of the Lord is at the forefront of everything right now, man. And, and the whole world is walking to our tune, man. Okay? So the churl is no more being called bountiful, for the vow person will speak villainy, and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy, to utter error against Yahweh, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. And that's what he wants. He doesn't want you to be nourished. Okay? He wants that pseudoscience. He's, he wants what his great scientist and, you know, uh, anthropologist and, you know, all these so-called great demons who supported this pseudoscience of you being nothing and them being so great studying and measuring skulls and all of this madness. They want that to be reality, but it's being swallowed up. <laughs> the instruments also of the true or evil. He devised wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. So we're speaking right. The Israelites, those who are in the right spirit, we're speaking the right thing. We're not talking about no goddamn Black Lives Matter. But they're going to find a way to say you're a terrorist and you're a threat to us. And they have the news. And you just wait till they come full fledged at the Israelites, man. And that's when the Lord is going to move. 
Okay? So we're speaking right, and you're hurt. You're mad. You got to think the book of Revelation, the uh, 11th chapter, says... And after three days and a half, after we were in that dead state, because while we we're in that dead state, they sent gifts to one another. They were happy. They were applauding, clapping, making all sorts of money off of your ignorance. See, you waking up is the true weapon. You separating your mind from these different terms and, and science and this world and their religions and what they taught you. That's where the true power is. Okay, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood up on their feet, and great fear fell on them, which saw them. Let's look up this word fear, because this is what you see. This is great fear. They're trying to hide it behind being bad to the bone and that pride, but really, it's fear. It's fear, man. Trust me. Trust me. These people are in fear, man. As we stood up on our feet, fear, phobos, phobia. They have a phobia of you Israelites <laughs> coming to the understanding of who you are. Okay? Fear, dread, terror. That which strikes terror, reverence for one's husband. Yep, you're supposed to have uh, a fear. Just like we're supposed to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. A woman should fear how she acts around her husband. And what she says to him, but that'll all come back in due time. But there you go. Dread, man. These people are losing it. Hurt. Because the day that they, and they know they're at the end of their rulership too, but they just don't know how to express it. Karen is hurt, y'all. I got you on recording now. Okay. You told me to go back to Oakland, right? Let me tell you, Dusty. Oh, I said she is, and that's why she's leaving. Okay. So you will leave too. No, 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 no. Oh, this is going all the internet. You don't know who I am. You, you told her. To, you told her to go back to her country. See, when, see, Esau was used to just putting them shades on, and like the earth walked to their tomb. See, once the Edomite, you see, in the eighties, when the Edomite put the shades on, they you just knew. Oh yeah. And they just knew, yeah, this is, we're God, you know, they could just put the shades on and, and walk around the earth and the earth, you know, the birds flew over them, you know, the rainbow came out. But now, <laughs> it's a different day, Jack, okay, and the Israelites are back, okay, you couldn't keep us down, you, you, you paid billions of dollars to keep us in a deep sleep, to teach us lies, but guess what? The Holy Spirit is above your blessing, okay? And your blessing is just about up, man. Okay, so let's continue to chant down Babylon and laugh at Karen, because Karen is absolutely finished, man. Where she's from. I mean, Jesus you, that's assault. Yeah. You guys know that, right? Where are you from? Yeah, yeah. Where were you born? Where were you born? Where were you born? Just imagine before the cameras, just imagine before the internet, imagine these instances if there was no cameras, no internets, imagine what happened that wasn't recorded over the years, where these Edomites just saw you and something triggered, triggered in them and they were able to just act and have laws to back them and doing all sorts of wickedness to you, man. Oh boy, oh boy. A just judge is coming too. Because we ain't going to get no justice from this place. Justice is going to come from who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. Shalom.